There we go. I will adjust the sound here in a moment. See if I can adjust the sound because that was pretty loud. We'll go here with it. Okay, and so this is God like Burger. Oh wow, and this is also done by the companies that did Unreal Jars and Shuttle Tactics. Um, but this is God Like Burger, and this is coming out April the 21st on Steam. And, um, it's a simulation game in which you have to make these burgers made out of aliens. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting game once you see how this works. Um, but before I do begin, I do want to take the time to thank the publisher and developer for providing me with a free copy of Godlike Burger to play on tonight's stream. Let us go ahead and get into this. Hello, Random Knight. Welcome to the stream. We're going to do the tutorial because for some odd reason it is not allowing for me to use the mouse and I'm wondering if they changed some things. Welcome to the Good Burger Restaurant. Want to be chef of this place? Oh, you got ads in Spanish this time. Want to be the chef of this place? Then a couple of lessons will sure come in handy. If during this tutorial you can't remember what to do or accidentally skip a step, just open the pause button. The pause menu. <laughs> Look, your first customer has already made his order. And is currently waiting for it. Let's see what information about him we can find out through the Q item. You can find the Q item on the top left corner of the screen. All new customers are added to the Q line when they enter the restaurant. And there you can see all of this beautiful stuff there. Okay, so yeah, they did change. It used to be like... Okay, so no cons for you. Because um, I haven't been to any cons. Um, I still kind of like the whole virtual aspect of the cons, personally. Um, and I would be willing to put money in for a virtual ticket, but I don't think I would do an in-person con. Uh, to make your first burger, go to the kitchen and use the following. Okay. You can also use the... You can, you can use WASD, but you can also use the arrow keys, too. In the kitchen, you can find everything you need for cooking. Let's begin with the fridge, where all burger ingredients are stored. Okay. For a start, for a start take the raw meat and put it on the stove to fry. After taking an ingredient, you can use it. Okay. Yeah, so you've been to four virtual concerts, five virtual conferences, and enjoyed them all for the first time in 20 years. That's true. Like, when the pandemic first started, um, you know, a lot of concerts got canceled, and um, one of my favorite groups, they did a virtual concert, and my sister and I watched that, and I, I liked it personally. Like, for me, I just don't think I'm ready to do an actual real life con can you smell it the patty is fried now take that cooked meat off the stove before it gets burned otherwise you'll need to use a trash can to get rid of the spoiled meat no problem you can place cooked meat on the hot table module keep it warm until you serve the burger okay cool now it's time to get back to the fridge for the ingredients
close that. Oh no, the table modular suddenly broke. Unfortunate, but any kitchen supply may break during the day where it hit that thing a couple of times. Maybe that'll get it working. Okay. <laughs> Great, now when the burger is assembled, you can serve it to the customer. Take your mess piece to the order handler. To serve the burger, simply attach it to the order number. Good. When you serve the burger, the customer will go to the order handle and pick up the order and immediately pay for it. Now, having his order, the customer will go sit somewhere and start eating. In case you want to speed up the process, use O or P, okay? I'm trying to see how fast it goes, so up to three. Customer is finally finishing, and now he will rate your service and decide whether to tip or not. Also, no mistakes, bad, satisfactory, and awful. Okay. It's about time to take a look at it. one very useful device called the guidebook. Let's open it. Okay. Tab is for the guidebook. The guidebook contains information about each customer species. Oh, wow. Some data is pre-filled, some needs to be discovered on your own. Now let's talk about each field in detail. These elements show the customer name and appearance. Here you can find wow, which body parts and meat customers will drop after the meat processor has processed a dead body. Yes, in this one, you're killing things to make them into burgers. <laughs> health number of health points. Karma describes how aggressive this race is. Damage, race damage level and tips and here you can find what they like to eat what they are immune to and activities and add them to this section this will help you to better understand each customer's behavior okay let's brighten the mood a bit go to the radio and tune in a funky station Okay, it looks like the customer is going to leave the restaurant. You can either wait or speed up time. Each time a customer is leaving the restaurant, you will earn gain, either gain or lose prestige scale points. It depends on the quality of the burger and the service. Okay. However, only those customers who left the restaurant alive are affect the scale. So if you get a bad one, I guess kill them. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, that's what it's saying. Also, pre prestige scale points affect the amount of customers which will come to the restaurant and allows you to travel to new planets. Okay. And here's a good example. By by the way, new wave, higher prestige scale means more guests. For each planet, the influence of prestige scale on the number of customers will be different, but they will always come from the teleporters in the parking lot. Okay. All customers in the restaurants are doing something, smoking, dancing, ordering, etc. They choose their activities at random, but each race has its own purposes. You should study them to find the perfect moment to kill. Let's wait until all customers enter and decide what they want to do. Okay. <laughs> Dorks. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they want to do. Looks like we have a freeloader here. One of the customers did not even order anything and just watching a strip show. Move to the VIP room. Wait, what? And get rid of that parasite. There's the bastard. It's time to teach him a lesson. Get closer to him and use the following input to kick his ass. Okay. After the customer has been kicked, he would immediately change his current activity. Also, his annoying scale will increase. Now let's kick him until annoying scale will be completely filled. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
he has gotten enough for now look his annoying scale has filled right i'm like wait what uh, completely which means that he will leave the restaurant the annoyance level can also be affected by poor service restaurant malfunctions etc upon reaching 100 percent the customer will leave the restaurant annoyed customers will decrease your prestige scale points after they have left the restaurant but right now let's focus on the rest of the customers let's go to the fridge and start making burgers As you may have noticed, new customers have ordered burgers with sauce. It's good that we have a couple lying around in the fridge. Okay. Indicates the burger that, okay. But as usual, you need to fry some meat first. So let's put some raw meat on the stove. Okay. They definitely um, added more to this than what used to be. Because originally I think you used keyboard and mouse for this. Now you just use keyboard. So they definitely have changed things from the demo. Okay. Uh... Okay, um, so close that one. Close that. You forgot to put some ingredients in the customer's order. Let's try again. What was, what did I miss? I didn't think I missed anything. What did I miss? It claimed I missed some more, some ingredients, but I didn't see what I missed. Do I need to put them in the right order? Like burger, so do maybe this. And that, and then cheese. Close. Okay, I get it. How do I throw it away? Let me see. Yeah, but it's... It's not letting me, okay, so there's a glitch. You haven't said the customer's order in time this time around, okay? We got it this time though. Okay, we got this this time. We have to kick one of them out because they just gonna go into the little strip joint and watch the dancer. Or should I say the dance joint? Right, let's get rid of him because you didn't buy nothing. Like, hold on. You don't get, you don't, nah, buddy. You gotta buy some wings or something. 
Come on out. Right, okay. Cause last time it told me I didn't put in the, I didn't put the right items on there and I'm like, wait, what do you mean? I thought I did. So that might have been a glitch earlier. Burgers with sauce have been served. Let's wait and see what happens next. Okay. Okay. When burgers with sauce are eaten by customers, a sauce timer will start ticking next to the customer queue item. So this one makes them go to the bathroom and the other one makes them pee. Okay. That's what it does. Because I was wondering, I'm like, wait, what does it do? <laughs> oh, it makes one go have a smoke break. The sauce timer has finished and the effect will start showing on the customers. You have used these sauces. Okay. First, let's visit the customer who has eaten the laxative sauce. You can find him sitting on the toilet as you may have guessed. Okay. Looks like there are no witnesses here, so it's time to kill. But before the fight, let's take a look at the main stats of the chef. That's our health. Each customer has damage, which can be found in the guidebook. Okay. Stamina is the... Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. Cool, now he's dead, but you are covered in blood, and there's a corpse nearby. That can be bad. Let's take a deep breath and talk about this situation. As you can see, you're still covering blood and there's a corpse nearby. Now let's see what happens when another customer notices that. A blood during shed or a corpse in the room continuously increases the witness's suspicion scale. The guy has run away in panic. Of course, he will report to the police what he thinks happened here. So for that, you will see one police badge. Okay. This one looks tougher and more aggressive than the previous guest. Let's observe what happens after his suspicion scale reaches 100. Oops, he became aggressive. A red circle around. Yeah, they definitely changed this a lot. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah. And this one, you're, you, you kill the creatures to make burgers out of them. I mean, yeah. They're getting their fried green tomatoes on. <laughs> like, um, reaching the threshold means a fight will start. Also, aggressive customers will call the cops rather than run away. After a customer has called the cops, you will get max police badges soon after that. The restaurant will be subject to a police raid. Okay. When a police patrol arrives, you will see a patrol progress bar. This bar indicates... <laughs> uh, this bar indicates how long the police patrol is going to search your restaurant. Each cop in the patrol will start investigating different rooms looking for anything suspicious. If any cop from the police patrol will notice anything suspicious, court swing of the cleaver, etc., he will immediately become aggressive and he will definitely cause fellow officers. <laughs> Mm. 
If that happens, the chef will most likely be killed, and after death, all meat, money, prestige, and quest progress will be lost. We don't want that, right? So now it's time to cover your tracks. <laughs> wow. First, remove the corpse so nobody will find it. A removed body does not immediately become a cut. Like first, it goes to the meat processor. You can see the processing begin in the raw in the queue line. When the meat processor finishes, raw meat and other body parts will automatically go to the fridge. Next step in step is to wash off the blood. For that, you should use the sink. Yeah, because this is not suspicious. Nice one. Moving on to the second customer who had the nicotine sauce. He is hanging around in the backyard smoking. Go and demonstrate how smoking may have neg negative impact on your health, okay? We will deal with this a little differently. In order to kill customers unnoticed and without blood, it is better to use traps. We have one in the backyard. Go there and activate the trap. Bang, the customer is dead. After an activation, traps are on cooldown before they can be used again. And since there is no blood on our clothes, all that's left is to do is get rid of the body. Nice, seems like we cleaned everything up and that's enough since the day will end. Congrats, you have completed your first day upon completing each day you will receive statistics displaying how well you did. Now it's time to check out the basement. Welcome to the basement. This is the operations center of your restaurant. Let's see what we can find here. First, let's go to the office. Inside the office, you can find the quest pad, newspaper, book of complaints, safe, and the computer. Each of these objects has its own functions. For example, the safe will help save some of the money even after death, but right now we need the computer. Using the computer, you can buy ingredients, kitchen upgrades, chef upgrades, guidebook info, sauce recipes, and these purchases, unlike money and meat, remain with the chef even after death. Take a look yourself, and then let's move to the quest pad. Um, we'll buy four of those, four of those, four of those, four, 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 four. Okay, and we're good. Quest pad. Here you can find a list of tasks tied to different planets you need to accomplish. Each of them to travel to the next planet. Every new session, the set of guests will be generated anew, so after each death, the game will be slightly different. Also, you can open the quest pad inside both restaurant and basement by using the R. Okay. Take a look at the quest pad yourself, and then we'll talk more about traveling to new planets. For that, you need to go to the cabin when you're ready. Okay. Kill five already stuffed customers and don't leave the kitchen for one day. Make yourself comfortable inside the cabin. There are three panels, trap schematics, plant ne planet, excuse me, planet navigation. <laughs> And then the phone. Let's talk about each one, but start with the planet navigation in the middle. This panel contains all information about each of the planets you can visit besides completing all of a planet's required quest. You also will need to have a certain amount of prestige points and enough money for the fuel to fly to the planet. Why even fly to another planet, you ask? There are several reasons. All places have different inhabitants, wealth levels, operation expenses, and police attention. For example, if you break the law in one place, you can lay low 
lie low in another until the number of badges decreases. Check out which planets are ready for your arrival, then let's move on to the phone. Okay. First and foremost, the phone panel allows you to pay bills. Okay. You should be aware of that because otherwise debt collectors will come to your restaurant. Another great thing about the phone panel is that you can bribe the police. You should do that if your police attention on certain planets gets too high. Once again, check the panel yourself and let's move on to the trap. Okay. On the traps panel, you can buy and upgrade traps. And these purchases, similar to the computer store, will, proceed, will persist after death. You may want to grab some warmer clothes because after this panel, we're going to visit the freezer room. It's a lot of explanation. Inside the freezer room, you can find following devices, the cryo capsule, the freezer, and the blender. The capsule will enable you to restart the session and the freezer shows which ingredients are left in the restaurant. But for now, we are interested in the blender. This, file, this device allows you to prepare sauces using customers' body parts as ingredients. New recipes can be purchased at the computer. Now we have checked out all the essentials. You can explore the rest by yourself. Try finding the other interactable objects. They are all yellowish and should be easy to spot. And when you are done, go up the stairs to leave the basement and start the new day. Okay. I think what we will do, because we just did the tutorial, I think it's only fair to try to play a level of this before we move on to the next game. New day. It just feels like it, it, it makes sense to me. Okay. Just kind of, like I said, just kind of makes sense to show it off a little bit. Okay. Day one. So we'll do this day and then we'll switch to our next game. Okay, they put in for a burger. Number one put in for a meal. Get out of here. You're not just gonna be playing my game. Grab that. We need a bun and a tomato. Right? Yeah, we need a bun and a tomato. I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> and that's number one. Grab that, right? Um, grab another one. Okay, um, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Put this here. <laughs> Okay. Right 
right now we may not have to kill anybody. At the moment, I am, but I am taking them through my DMs on Twitter. Oh, okay. Uh, um, do this. Number three. Okay, take that. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, did I make this burger wrong? I did, didn't I? You know what? We're not gonna make it this time. I totally forgot how to <laughs> like nobody's gonna eat that burger cuz that was the wrong burger <laughs> do that at least <laughs> and then do I'm not doing very well <laughs> like I am not doing well at all but yeah if you um, send in the request on to my Twitter I can take a look because right now my um, actual my actual <laughs> form that I use is not currently set up. not what I meant to do okay we're gonna put that here <laughs> so we didn't do too good on this one Mainly because I totally forgot how some of the things worked on it. You're just gonna have to take that one at that point. That's not what I meant to do, but uh, close. Okay, so I threw that on the floor because I don't know why, but we threw that on the floor. Okay, uh. 
I don't think they're gonna I think they're leaving the last one Yeah, so we didn't do too well on this one. That's fine though. But that's the gist of the game. But yeah, so that's the gist of the game and that is Godlike Burger. And again, Godlike Burger is going to be coming out on the 21st. It is going to be available on PC mac os and linux um and again this one comes out on april the 21st so um if you like what you saw of the game again you can use exclamation point gotw or simply click on the link here and that's gonna take you to a google doc that lists all the games i am playing tonight where you can get those games from how much the games are if there's a price for them as well as the links to get to those games and even if you cannot purchase a game please go ahead and wishlist the game wishlisting the game does help the developers out a lot it helps with the algorithm on steam so wishlisting a game can with enough wish lists, the game can end up on the front page of Steam sometime in the new and trendworthy section. And it really does help the developers to be seen on Steam. So when in doubt, as I like to say, please, please wish list it out. And a very big thank you to the publishers and developers of Godlike Burger for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. <laughs> 